the yield differential between currencies and the U.S. dollar continues to push in the buck's favor on the back of the combination of stronger U.S. data and hawkish Fed speak against softer data abroad and more dovish expectations from the other major central banks. Earlier today, the Aussie's trade surplus narrowed, Eurozone GDP and German industrial production disappointed, and U.K. traders pared back expectation for BOE hikes in the aftermath of recent comments from various BOE officials. And so once again, it's broad-based U.S. dollar demand and downside pressure on equities, including U.S. equities, which suffer from the implication of less investor-friendly Fed policy. Looking ahead, we get Canada building permits, U.S. initial jobless claims, Canada IVPMIs, ECB speak, and a batch of Fed speak. That's all for now.